Hello, welcome to my channel. Mm -hmm. Lena Rules is back with another video once again. Mm -hmm. We did the classic witch look, but with a little twist yeah. on Tyler here. <laughs> she's a freshman that go to TSU, and I just invited her out and wanted to do her makeup, and she was so nicely willing to come. So if you want to see how we got this wonderful look right here, I suggest you keep on watching. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Welcome back to my channel. I'm pretty sure I already did the intro, so we should be straight. Yeah. But I have a special guest. She's a freshman at Tennessee State University, and she takes sociology with me. You probably saw her in the last video. And here she go. Introduce yourself. Hi. Thanks for my gushers. Okay, I'm Tyler. Uh, I'm a freshman here at TSU. Um, I'm from Memphis, and we have to take sociology together. That's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So, you know it's the beautiful month of October. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, we got to celebrate or whatever. So, for her look, she wanted to try something Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, yeah Halloween. so show them what type of photo you was looking at. So, that's the look we trying to achieve today. So, wish me look okay so first we're gonna try to like get ready for the balls so we're gonna use this and just rise them up and just kind of like get rid of any extra hairs so have you ever had anybody do your makeup before um yeah it was really senior year of high school I mm -hmm. like when the first time really was uh for my um what's some things called prom no doing freshman pictures not freshman damn oh you senior your pictures <laughs> yeah senior head yeah I just went to Sephora for that though you went to Sephora yeah girl I know you spent some money yeah I had to buy like fifty dollars worth of stuff. Fifty dollars. Yeah, that's their little rule. You gotta buy at least fifty dollars worth of stuff. To do what? For them to do your makeup, like a full face. Oh, you did it as you got your work. At, I mean, you got your makeup done at Sephora. Mhm. Mm Girl, no man. Yeah. I could never. I tried to get somebody to do it, but stuff was happening, so I was just like, Mhm. Mm I'm just gonna get this stuff done. So. About fifty dollars. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't all that bad. At least they let you keep it. Yeah. Like, I got some stuff to play with. So, oh. it's really the first time, though. Do you ever, like, play with makeup in your room? Like, what type of looks do you do, usually? Um, yeah, I play in it sometimes. It just depends, because, like, I don't know. I like to be comfortable a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't really dress up a lot. But I just started playing in makeup now. Just to have something to do because I be bored now. You be bored? Yeah, I don't have nothing to do. You want to go out? I mean, I go out sometimes, but still, like, just when I'm bored. Because I really started this summer just playing in makeup. Mm hmm. Because, like, well, I worked this summer, but, like, after work, when I was bored, I just do something to my face. But mm -hmm. I really like glitter, though. <laughs> Glitter? Yeah. That's cool. So, we're going to take this uh, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the shade 420. Mm -hmm. She came in with the Bougie Foundation. Oh, so, don't do that. <laughs> you know, we excited or whatever to mm -hmm. test it out. She kind of watery, okay. I'm not used to that one. <laughs> so how have you liked TSU so far? Um, it's interesting. It's not really what I expected. It's not what you what did what did you expect? I mean as a freshman, well 
I'm gonna get up. Cause like in high school, I really didn't know where I was gonna go to school for college. I knew I was going to college. Mm -hmm. And like the last time I came here, it was probably like 2016, 2017. Cause my brother was gonna come here and play basketball. Mm -hmm. But that didn't happen. So like that was the last tour per se I took. But then they came with that check. So I was like, okay, I'll be here. Came with the check. Yeah. So, like, everything this semester has just been, like, crazy. It's, it's almost reminds me of, like, my high school on steroids, basically. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> like, so many problems just coming out of nowhere. And then, like, people being fake. Just so, like, people they don't, being fake. So, they don't get in trouble. Like, how um, Dr. Glover, like, with herself and, like, trying to act like she cared homecoming week with everybody. They've been in distress. Like, I really can't complain because, you know, I saved Rudolph. But still, like, I hate it for people that had to, like, they had to pay so much money and go through, like, so much to get here. Mm -hmm. And then, like, daily necessities, like, they not being able to have them. And, like, they losing their clothes, getting stuck in elevators and stuff like that. That, that just doesn't make sense to me. Losing their clothes? Who lost their clothes? Like, you know, with the uh, washers. Oh, yeah. Like, this, their clothes get stuck in the washer machines, and then they don't have no power, so their clothes just wet. They can't really dry them. Yeah. So, unless they take them outside. <laughs> but still, that's a hassle to do for paying, like, $8,000 mm -hmm. to go here. All right. Mm -hmm. So, as a freshman... What would you say? I'm gonna add some little glowy mist to it so mm -hmm. it can like help. Oh God! <laughs> I know it's weird. As a freshman, you know this is your first year here. Like for us upperclassmen, you we kind of like then got used to everything. Like the first year we I like, don't know how. <laughs> well, like the first year you kind of like oh my gosh, but like after that you like okay this is just the HBCU you know. I so I don't feel that way though. You don't. Mm -hmm. It's weird, like I, I I don't know how to explain. Like it feel like I've already been here. Like after the first week, I feel like I'm straight. Honestly, mm -hmm. for me, it it, it kind of feel like my high school. Yeah, it still feel it feel like high school to me in a way. Like it's really not here. Like I'm actually a college kid. Yeah. Well, until the weekends hit when the cafe closed. Yup. <laughs> You got to close, trying to eat. Trying to eat. You got to adjust your schedule. Mm -hmm. They talking about they going to close at 6. Don't nobody eat at 6. We really don't eat at 6. But we got to think about the workers. Like, they got to go home. They family. Yeah, I know. I guess. <laughs> so, if you, as a fresh, freshman, what would you, like, change here at TSU? Hmm. Well, one thing I do wish, like, I don't know if it's just because, like, I'm used to being, like, out in the country and stuff like that but like going around campus and actually like seeing folks like outside playing games or something like just something to do outside and not just like being in the room all day and if you're not like in the room like you don't have to be anything like sexual I guess you could say because like I guess that's the only way people see like you can hang out but I really just want to play cards with people like that's it <laughs> You want to play cards? Play cards outside. I thought I was going to learn how to play, um, what's that game called? Spades or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought I was going to be able to learn how to play spades. It's like just sitting on the step or whatever. Nobody goes outside. It's so depressing. Like, well, you can go to the game room. Yeah, I just found the game room, though. So, mm -hmm. it's not that bad, though. Maybe if I go out a little bit. I think the thing is, like, with phones and technology, like, you're not going to really. I know. I don't know. I was just expecting that because, you know, you're the HBCU. So, I was like, no, we're going to have, like, one of these days where everybody just outside chilling, listening to music, playing cards and stuff you like that. You don't see, um, like, the Wednesday at night? You talking about courtyard night? They have courtyard Wednesday nights. I know. I went to that, but it was... It was just kind of just yeah. like a lot of trap music. Like, I mean, I don't like trap music and stuff like that, but it was just like, okay, we can just sit parties too. Like, it's not really like a family type environment. Mm, like, so you wish it was more of a family type environment. Yeah. It's like, you don't have to be just like a let's get drunk type vibe all the time. Like, mm -hmm. you just go out, 
enjoy the night, play some cards, listen to music, actually have a conversation. Yeah. Maybe I'm just old. You're not old. I feel like a lot of people, well, not a lot, but certain pe- I feel like people think that way. But the thing is, like, you got to think about what's popular and stuff. Yeah, I guess. And, like, people just don't have the strength to, you know, sit here and, like, be like, okay, you know, I feel this way. Like, let me show us a concern and stress over it. Yeah. I will say I learned, like, it don't matter how old people are. They're still childish. Girl. (laughs) Like. I really, I, that was like one of my high expectations. Like, I thought, okay, these folks, you know, they're getting a little older. They know how to act. Nope. No, they don't know how to it's act. It's like the time just reversed. Like, they just went back to them old little elementary school ways. Like, yes, ma'am. I don't understand. I just expected, a lot, like, when I came here, I expected the same thing. Like, I was thinking, like, oh, I'm going to have to, like, deal with people, like, making little stupid jokes or, like, being extra. But Yeah, nope. Everybody's still childish. And, like, I don't think, I don't know when the time will come where people will just kind of realize. Because, like, even when I talk to my mom, like, the people that she deal with are, like, really childish, too. So, you know, it's just kind of difficult. Yeah. So have you met any cute guys since you got here? <laughs> I don't know what it is. I had to tell my best friends, like, I don't know if it's just this campus or is it just me, but I just keep attracting a whole lot of drug dealers for some reason. Drug dealers. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how that's been going. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. <laughs> I don't got no words for that one. <laughs> what? Are you talking about drug dealers. Drug oh, dealers need love too, apparently. Wow. Like, everywhere I go, they just. They're right there. I don't know why. I gotta think about half the people here might be like drug dealers. I like know, but talk. still, I mean, I ain't got nothing against them. They be cute though. But what do I tell my mom? <laughs> yeah, I'm dating a drug dealer, mom. Yeah, mom. You know, he just came in my life, and, like, I just really care about him, and she's going to be like, girl, if you don't get your tail back home. <laughs> she's going to think I'm crazy. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and start on brows. Your brows are pretty much, like, good, so, you know, you don't really need too much. Oh, thanks. You can't do box brows, okay? Mm-hmm. Like, you have to follow your natural brow pattern because your face automatically knows what type of brows look like. So therefore, if you follow your natural brow pattern, your eyebrows shouldn't come out at all. <laughs> because that's your natural pattern. Like, that's what your face is made up for. You know? Mm-hmm. Why would we doing it? Oh, so next is the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna need that picture again because I don't feel like stressing and dying. I'm gonna use my essentials palette that I got from um, Boxy Charm, you know, from Violet Boss. Probably gonna use this plum berry, and then I'm probably gonna use not this because it ain't got the colors I need. We're not going. We're not gonna use the. I see those of colors. One, I think we're gonna use the Morphe X James Charles palette because you know, and like they got the purples and the greens, so we should be fine. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a transition shade and we're gonna go in with um, this light green as the transition shade. I think it'll be perfectly fine. So we're just gonna take a Morphe brush. That don't have a name right now because I got it in a packet. <laughs> oh, first we gotta conceal the eyes. Hold on. I'm gonna take a very because she's darker than me. I'm gonna take a very light, light concealer to really just like basically whiten the eyes a little bit so that the eyeshadows show. Because we know on us brown sisters, they don't like to make eyeshadows that show up on our skin. <laughs> so the teeth. <laughs> 
We're gonna make our eyes white, pretty much. Aww. Like, it's not white, it's wet and wild, but it's, it's kind of light for our skin complexion. So I used a very light concealer, wet and wild concealer. I don't know the name of it. I got it from a store back in the, in the times that I didn't know beauty. And I found out that this was the best use. So I'm gonna show her how light it is. If you can't see it, like that's how light it is. Like it don't look right. Like imagine if I put that on your face. Oh no, I would look like somebody's grandma. Exactly. Okay. So we're just gonna take the James Charles palette and um start mm -hmm. so we're gonna take this morphe brush mm -hmm. and this shade here and we're just gonna go at it so what i'm doing i'm gonna teach you how to do this because i feel like eventually you just do your own makeup <laughs> but what i'm doing is when a when you go with colors you have to really start with a packing motion before you start blending so you see people that really just like put it on like this mm -hmm. that's good and all but you have to really start with packing motions to get the product on there and then once the product is on there that's when you can like really Yay. just start blending out okay i feel the difference thank you yeah. i'm just chilling then when it's in there you see i'm just like <laughs> going in circular motions just really giving like an airbrush Ooh. type of like well it's gonna look airbrushed rather than like swiped on and this is just a transition shade. Then I will go into a dark better. green to make it deeper. Now we're taking this shade here, if you can see, and we're applying it to the crease. Now, <laughs> it's time to cut the crease. Oh and God. this, it's gonna take some patience oh because if I mess up, I'm gonna scream. <sighs> oh no, is it gonna mess up? I've never tried that before. I mean, I, no, don't cut me. <laughs> cut the crease is very serious. Like, I've you messed tried, up. The I've never tried it before. I've never just like really messed up the crease, but you do have to be like careful. Okay. Cause like, then you gotta like, like if you cut the crease, it's not that bad, but that, <laughs> That blend you had in the beginning, like you gotta redo it a little bit. Redo. <laughs> that means you gotta take it off, right? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Like you gotta. So basically, I would take the brushes I already used, so I put them to the side and mm -hmm. just kind of like go over it. Mm -hmm. Now this purple is darker than that purple, so if you swatch I'm it, like it's going to come like that. that pretty cool. Wait, I swatched it ugly. Okay. So. That's the purple. See that? It's so pretty. So that's the purple. And then from the violet balls here, we got dang this purple. It looks like it's got blue in it. It has blue reflects on it. Yeah. Can y'all see? So yeah. So that's the way we're gonna do it. So we're gonna use that purple first, and then we're gonna bring it into that purple to give you that glitter slash. You know, it's just, it's just a contrast. So it goes light purple, dark, medium purple to really dark purple, which goes into the green. I love it. So that's a really pretty purple. Hey, do you want to look? I got to create like a big old wing kind of and just like then add the purple towards the inner corner and then make green eye drops. Oof. All right, pray Maybe for me. Pray okay. for me. Okay. So what I did, because I don't have paint, is I put, I took some Iconic Mist <laughs> and I just sprayed it on the pan and just wiggled it around the white eyeshadow to create kind of like a white paint. So just powder and mist created white paint. Adding anything that needs to be added, blending anything that needs to be blended. 
Highlander. And yeah, so that's pretty much mm. not the look because we ain't done. We ain't put no lips on you. We ain't did nothing else. She got Mommy. excited. <laughs> she got excited like we was done. We not done. <laughs> she thought we were. Was... She was like, yeah, I'm done. This the look. What's up? No, mm-hmm. no, we're not. We ain't mm-hmm. nowhere near done. No. We ain't did no highlight, no nothing. It's highlighting oh, time. I think that'd be cute if we did like green contour with purple blush. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why not? Why not? She you said. only live once. You own. Listen to her. I mean, look, <laughs> no, no, she no, ended up looking no, crazy. Don't. This was her idea. <laughs> I was like, I was like, we could. And usually people are like, heck no, we're not doing that to my face. But she said, why not? Why not? Why not? No. Oh God, I'm on. Okay, so I am an ambassador for Noir Lips, and we're going to take the Noir Lips sh- purple shade. Mm-hmm. I forgot the name, but it's a beautiful company. It's a black-owned company, and if you... Called? Noir Lips. Noir Lips? Yes, and if Go you are support. interested, use the code LENA20 for 20% off your purchase. So, like... They're not expensive, plus the 20% off. You're really saving money. So I suggest you go ahead and do it. I'll put the link down <laughs> below. Use my code. Yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So we're just going to potty shade, and we're going to make it look real spooky. Oh, I've never done a color like that before. No. Okay, we going to. We there. You basically we are already rich. there. We are. <laughs> like, we are on camera right now. Okay. You look good in purple. Mm. Like, you should do purple more often. Okay, purple on you is good. Look! <laughs> that's cute on her, uh, ain't it? Look at that. Um, I'm gonna uh, have to open your lip a little. So this is the final look. We have the yeah. witch. You know what? Let's go after that. <laughs> because why not? She is a witch today. Witch. And you know, we gonna can they see my hat? They can't see your hat. Oh no, little pimp hat. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So that's the final look. I think it came out really well. So um, if you like the video. Go ahead and click the like button. Mm-hmm. And if you want to see more videos such as this, go ahead and click that subscribe button below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at lena.rules. And follow her at... Y'all can follow me on Instagram at underscore R-E-L-Y-T-T. My name backwards. Yeah. So basically Tyler backwards. Yeah, but with two T's. With with two T-T. T-T. Two and T's. an underscore in the front. Okay. Yeah. Um... Also, I hope y'all have a good Halloween. And just remember just how I rule, you rule too. So have fun and see you in the next video. Yeah. Woo.